Okay, so let's try getting some of the requests out of the way real quick. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, passing up on that. Alright, let's try some of the requests people have had. So, face punch. Jesus Christ. Yep. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Yep. Is that the name of the company? Is the company called Face Punch Studios? Somebody's called Face, Face Punch Studios. I've seen that logo before. Oh my god, the outside. Oh, it looks awful out there. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Ugh. I like none of these things. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes. Almost certainly, 50 clicks. This is a trap. This is a trap. He could keep this going on forever. And it's increasing exponentially. Oh no. Why am I doing this? No. I don't even care about achievements. No, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417? Where the hell's that? Down the hall? I like how there's a freaking, clearly a cage around each window, by the way. Because there weren't out there, there isn't even really much of an outside outside of each window, just like a bla like a blue sky. Oh my god, this is really freaky looking when the whole place looks like this. Four one seven, is that is that over here? Four one six, four one five, four one seven. Here we go. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. You said 20 times, I thought. That was only like five times, I thought. What? This is a trap. I'm gonna be here forever. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Four one. I know where that was. I remember 415 like an old friend. Who annoys me. Now, back to door number 437. Okay. What? I'm gonna find out that it's looping, aren't I? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Uh, that was in this room? I have to see this through to its logical conclusion. That's not a copy machine. Those are filing cabinets. Where is the copying machine? That's the decision room, right? Yeah, we can't go that far. That'll get me in trouble. This is a bad time to do these two things in conjunction, isn't it? Username access. <laughs> Even the blank screens look different now. Weird. Yeah, nothing stands out from anything else in this inter with this visual. Except these screens that are obviously on. They have to do something, right? I feel like they have to do something. Okay, I genuinely don't know where the copying machine is. Oh, there it is. All I had to do was say it out loud. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Is that the case? Is that what's going to happen? Are we really progressing? Or are you just toiling with my emotions? You're, damn it. I forgot where 417 was. There it is. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Uh. Haha. -ha. Wait. Yes, Haha. -ha. This is 
great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Oh, Captain, my Captain. No one? Oh. Well, now I'm sad. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! He's getting so excited! At least it's not looping dialogue. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! I'm concerned that you're saying finish with that voice. Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? The screens that are on bother me. So I assume an achievement pop-up would have happened if I had achievements turned on, or even the Steam interface turned on on my Steam games, which I don't. Take like an email... Because we've we've had like the taunting of the idea of pressing buttons and sequences, username access. They've taunted us with the idea of pressing buttons in a certain order with that one puzzle room. That was that seemed to be a lie. So now I'm just wondering if maybe these are some sort of trick. Let's see. Curious. They have to be pointless, right? That's two of them. I think the only other computer to turn off would be in my own room, right? Yeah, there's not a lot of them around. But I can't go in my own room anymore. Well, so much for that idea. How about we go back towards the first ending I got, actually. I jumped off a rail. I don't remember what happened after that very well, but there, there, could, there had to be more. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, Jess, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took his first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's, inc it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Wait, can I? Well, <laughs> who's got cold feet? Sorry to break it to you, Stanley, but that lift isn't coming back. You'd best either get comfortable right here on this platform, or test your luck by jumping to the floor below. Bye. Looking at it now, it's not that far to the bottom floor. I bet you can make it. So is the door just closed now? <laughs> So I'm trapped on a ledge. Come on. I'm sure you'll survive the jump. Don't tell me you're scared. That's not the Stanley I know. Do it. Do it. What do a weird what a weird piece of texture. This really weird textures on the stairs that almost look like they'd combine to an image or something. Oh yeah, like right there? No, they're not they're all jarred. They're staggered, I mean. There's no way. Oh no. It feel, somehow feels even higher up now than it was when I with normal textures. My best chance is is that top of that car, but I doubt it. Whoops! Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Well, so my curiosity is that I went on that lift first and jumped on the catwalk. I think that, I think that was my first run, and I just I feel like there must have been other decisions. Door on his left. I've exhausted most of the options. I just did the, I just did that where. I suicide. I've gone over there. Incredible, he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I like how this dialogue acts like we've been playing for a long time. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad? Yeah, that doesn't work. His dialogue acts like we've known each other for the long time, for longest time, but it's the first thing I ever did. Something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. 
So this goes somewhere? Okay. 2B4 and 5. There we go. Definitely, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I gave... Yeah, that's what happened last time. I gave him a little faith and I went to the red door when he pleaded with me. And we went somewhere else. So let's continue to ignore him. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. No. You can't make me. I still don't think we're communicating uh. properly. <laughs> through the red door. That's great. I love the arrows. That's a great detail. There's even a red thing next to it to add to the redness of the area. And he hit this behind me. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. That is the repeating texture you get when you don't have a texture in, a, in Source. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me, you've given me absolutely nothing so far. I didn't know missing source textures could be this atmospheric looking. And you can give me some feedback. There we what? Go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Well, that was fucking startling. <laughs> that was really startling. It's all haphazardly not built. We're getting a return to the wooden doors from before, too. Okay, sure. Sure. But what if I just, like, screw with him and go to these other doors now, just to ruin his day? Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Wow. Great job with your game. So many more choices. I walked through a different door and then got to a customer review. I'm going to really screw with you. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Nope. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. <laughs> Oh my god, good old Neil Skid, Nico Nacho, Vo Viola, Hogarth, Mr. Hayes, that's oh my god, it's going fast. Okay, that's too fast. Is it gonna be me? It's gonna be me, isn't it? No, it's Stanley. <laughs> this is you, yeah. Is that how long I've been playing so far? How do you know? Seven hours? You're last place in the entire world, congratulations. I wonder if that is my real time. I wanna ask some friends for help. Friends list is empty. Oh. Oh. That might be my real time in this game, actually. It's possible. Do you know that 21% of people skip the intro? Only the th worst 3% of players choose the blue door? <laughs> Which is how you get here. Uh -huh. How long does it take you to get the correct door? This is your superior. <laughs> oh my god. That could be my re that could actually be my real time because of the fact that uh, uh wow two seconds because uh this game might have Steam trading cards and if it has any if it has any Steam trading cards then uh I'm a long time ago years ago because I probably owned this for years uh I probably would have had it run for some period of time just to gather cards because at one point I was trying to farm all the cards on my account and then I realized I didn't care. <laughs> no. Would you say Ah, whoa! You just blew my mind. Motivated to keep walking through doors. Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? This feels like a trap. This feels like a trap. Nope. Uh, okay.
It's fine. Oh. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my You're welcome. are awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Wait, no, stop. That's how Beginner's Guide happens. Stop. Mm -hmm. Narrator, who I don't have a name for. Stop. Seems like it'll work. Stop. Shot. No. Oh. Now I'm sad. What? Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me I can't you. jump. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Do I have to watch him play the game? Is that what's happening? I can't jump, so I'm stuck here. Here. No. Here. And then... Did Notch have to clear this? I wonder. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, Did you turn off, you turn off lighting? Inside. There's no lighting. You've gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Look how bright it is in there. I'm gonna go in your weird dirt coffin. Someone help. Help. Hey, protagonist of System Shock 2, I need to help me mantle. How do I mantle? Teach me how to mantle. Teach me how to Dougie? I, I do wonder if this is like an official, like... Did Mojang slash Notch sign off on this three years ago, or... Did he just do it and just see what happens? I'm at least gonna moonwalk into it. Poorly. Exceptionally poorly. I can't. Isn't it grand. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to get mining. Loud noises right behind me. Well, I, I can safely say I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I've got to go into the mines, because I can't go anywhere else on the map. Can I hurt myself? If I go like this? Nope. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Is there going to be a creeper in this? Is that where we're going with this? No, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. I hear zombies and spiders. Oh, bye. That was fake lighting, by the way. He was just turning all of the lights in the entire game up and down, because there was no dynamic lighting based on where we were standing. Uh. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. I mean, I suppose this makes more sense than... As far as sor a Source game goes, this makes more sense to have in Stanley Parable than Minecraft. That one caught me by surprise. This one is just... 
just gonna make me slightly sad I'm not actually playing Portal, honestly. Because <laughs> Portal's one of the best games ever made. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Oh, I can actually pick it up. I never get to pick things up in this game. Genius. This is really weird because, of course, he's. What? That's plenty. No, stop. I don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games, and I highly. Filing cabinet sixty-four. It's all poopy down here. Oh. The Stanley Alpha Test. Please rate your experience, Beta. Please rate your experience. One, two, four, five, three. Iteration. Office Space C, alternate iteration, 63. Oh my god. This is getting weird. It's funny having him, of course, pop up as a narrator in the context of a uh, freaking portal because of course that's a game that's about having a nefarious possibly enemy narrator throughout the entire experience wow this really does make me feel like i fell out of the game because he's not talking at all which feels really weird given the context of how the rest of the game works can't tell if there's a floor down there it's so dark i suppose i just have to drop down somewhere right It kind of looked like there was a floor over here. Was there anything in this room? It's a monkey wrench. No. Don't want to be a monkey wrench. Ah! Falling. But. Of course. Oh, wow. Look at those super textury doors. You can almost see. Yeah, it's, it's completely flat. There's only the vaguest hint of maybe being a proper door. Oh man. Good old source rectangles, right? Is this a... No, this is Stanley Parable, right? This is not a location from Half-Life. Oh. This is the left door. The entire place is in ruins. Here's the right door. Is it going to be a dead end? So is this going to be the break room? No. Spooky being completely alone in this game. I suppose you're supposed to find your way back to the Stanley's desk, right? Which would be right through here. What if head crabs showed up? Hi. Look at all that stuff being open. Nope. What are your secrets, game? Tell me your secrets, please. I want all your secrets. Yeah, we're back home. I don't want to. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. There's a one-way mirror. What is that? Well, now I feel weird. I'm just stuck here, huh? This door doesn't close. The light at the end of the tunnel signifies nothing. Uh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. So he's trying to establish the importance of being the narrator is that when the narr when there's no narrator there's no structure and it doesn't end and nothing happens